All right, so my blog option number three chosen was blog option number six. So I should explain and demonstrate how to find the first and third quartile GPAs, um, GPAs for the EAC distribution given. Then explain and demonstrate on the box and whiskers diagram, you will label the given mean GPA and its and the calculator first and third quartile. All right, so here have a pre-molded uh, diagram. So the first thing we should do, it's to redo the diagram, all right? So as we're looking for the third and first quartile, we're not looking for the numbers inside. We're looking for percentages, which we would divide them in four, which is 25, 25, 25, and 25. All right, so keep it in mind that our mean already in the top is 2.5 and our standard deviation is 0 0.4. We should have these numbers in mind so we could use them uh, to plug in the calculator. In this case, we're going to be using option number three from our calculator, which is inverse norm. All right, so the first thing we should do is to find the first quartile, we should complete in the calculator for 2.5, all right? And for the third quartile, we should be looking for 0.75, which is 75% and 25%. All right, so we should then be looking to, let me just uh, do second clear so we do not get our, our minds confused. So we should go to option number three, all right, and we should plug the values over here. So the following values are 0 0.25, 2.5, 4. Uh, 4, we should be looking, it's our standard deviation, 2.5, it's our mean, and 0 0.25, it's the first quartile we are looking for. Next on, we should be looking at paste and we should click enter. So this is the number we are looking for, which is the 2.23, uh, which is our first quartile. Here it's the box of whiskers we should be looking to draw. So here we present our first quartile and here our third quartile. All right, so we should be looking at the first quartile as a result for 2.23. For the other quartile, we should be looking to do the same process, but we should change our numbers. So we should go to inverse norm once more, but instead of uh, 25, 0.25, we should be looking to plug 0.75. We should maintain our mean value and our standard deviation value, which we were reported in the first exercise. So we should paste once more, go, and this is our third quartile uh, result which is 2.77 as we can look in the calculator so uh, we should draw our box of whiskers which represents both quartiles and these are the results we are looking for